Am I vain for watching myself? I just want to know. I mean, I don't think it is, but at least I support my own brand. Most people don't even do that. I'm just sitting here reminiscing. That's all. Hey, guys. Hey. I'm looking ratchet right now. I'm actually dressed. I'm just sitting in my bed because I feel like I'm on one today. Um, I'm about to get up and wash my face. Um, and I'm actually waiting for my homegirl. She's get ready to do something for me for my birthday. So I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and pick up some money, um, from her when she calls. But I just wanted to get on here, you guys, and be like, good morning. You know, I'm still trying to do content or whatever. And I kind of went on a rampage last night on Instagram <laughs> because I'm so sick of fake people I don't I cannot stand fake females that's why my circle of females is super super small the ones that I have allowed to kind of be in my life like that you know I have to deal with them accordingly um you know, as far as, you know, hanging out and shit like that. Um, you know, I don't, I just, I'm in a space in my life to where I don't, I'm not getting ready to deal with fake people. Um, if you don't check on me or you think I'm being funny or if you live close to me and we supposed to be friends and you don't even check on me like that unless you're trying to be fucking nosy or you just so happen to see me out in the streets and i did not see you or if i did see you i probably was just ignoring your ass because it's kind of like if i've reached out as a friend because i know i'm a true fucking friend if i've reached out as a friend to try to do something hang out with you shit like that and you not trying to do the same. Then at that point, um, at that point, I'm just like, I'm over it. Like, it's it's not, it's a, not a one-way street. You know, it's got to be a two-way street with any relationship, whether it's a friendship or whatever. It has to be a two-way street or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I kind of just wanted to vent a little bit. Because I did go live on my Instagram last night. And I was like, man, fuck you hoes. <laughs> I'm sick of bitches. That's why I've always had more guy friends than female friends. Just for this very reasons. Um, because females are always on some other shit. Instead of trying to support each other. And I realize you can't make people support what you're doing. Your cause or whatever. They're going to pick and choose. Whose team they want to be on. And that's fine. You know, I don't, I'm built for that. You know, I don't bother me. I've been accused of shit before that I didn't do. All kind of shit. And I can woman up. I'm warming up over the shit that I do. So, you know, I tell people from the jump when they meet me. Now, you want to be friends or whatever. I'm going to tell you. I either follow one or two categories with people. Either they love me or they fucking wind up hating me because they don't like my honesty and that I just keep it a hundred. Do not fucking ask me nothing if you don't want the raw truth. If you don't like my opinion on something. Everybody has opinions. We ain't got to agree all the time. You know, friends don't agree all the time. My true bitches, my true bitches that I fucks with, like we like this. We don't agree all the time, but guess what? We can say what we need to say. If we don't agree or somebody get in their fucking feelings, guess what? We just go ahead, let that shit ride, and be like, you know what, bitch? Come back like, look, bitch, you know, you can't hurt my feelings. But, you know, I took it like a G. Or whatever. But not everybody's built like that. And I have to understand that. Not everybody's built for it tough. You know, but it is what it is. So, y'all, my bad. I totally forgot to vlog today. Like, I started off this morning, and then it was like, oh, I got to go pick up this money that my friend sent me for my birthday that she sent me. 
And then I went grocery shopping, came home, started doing stuff, and totally forgot to record it. Like, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. I've been in my head scarf all day, everywhere that I went today, and I don't even care. Because it is what it is. It's Sunday, and I'm kind of like chilling. Been watching YouTube, doing some research for some things that I'm working on. And that's just what kind of day it's been like. I did cook earlier. I did cook. I had a taste for burgers and fries, and that's what I had. But I'm sorry, this vlog, vlog, it's like, because <laughs> I really just been kind of like in my zone and just kind of been like reflecting, trying to figure out some things make some plans and just kind of relax from my vacation um you know i'm still recovering from my vacation even though i was gone last week or whatever it's just i've been non-stop running since i came back see i got bags in my eyes it's crazy and i'm still not even done really celebrating because things are still coming up i may have some fun things coming up or whatever and this is gonna sound crazy but don't think i'm vain i'm sitting up here watching myself <laughs> oh youtube i'm just trying to get a feel of what all else i need to be trying to do to like you know get it in or whatever and then you guys i did have a cocktail today a couple of them because i'm just trying to relax right now and i have to get ready for my nine to five as well as there's some things that i'm trying to do to get my life back reorganized and back on the schedule Back to working out, back to eating good again with minimum to no carbs, stuff like that. I'm just trying to adjust back, you know. It's like when you go on vacation, I don't know about nobody else, but when I go on vacation and come back, it's like, oh, uh, it takes me a couple weeks to adjust because it's like all that time you've been planning and getting ready and stuff like that when it's something exciting and important to you. And then it's like, uh, adjusting back to freaking normal life is a beast, okay? It's a beast. You're like, man, I gotta get back on schedule. Ugh. Sheesh, Louise. And yes, I haven't been drinking soda. You would think that I have been because my skin discoloration and stuff. I just need to start getting treatments done. Um, but yeah. Um, but I hadn't really been drinking this kind of stuff. It's just today I needed to pick me up. And really, I needed to burp. Is the reason. Oh, and I did my nails. Different set than my birthday set. I know these are kind of old school with this shape and how wide they are. But, you know, oldie but goodie. Sometimes it's cool to do that. Because, um, of course, I like to keep my nails done. I'm not going to show you my toes right now because one foot, I don't know what happened. They were so painted so cute, and I guess I just had been doing too much, and that's just what it is. But I just wanted to come on here, you guys, and say, hey, I'm sorry I didn't finish vlogging for today and kind of have y'all go with me to the store. I've been having these flexi rides in, but at least I'll be straight for tomorrow, and I didn't, I haven't glued my frontal down i'm gonna be honest with y'all a lot of times i mean you know some people like that look 
to where it looks melted. But if you get a close-up picture, a lot of times that shit really ain't melted down to the scalp like that. You can still see remnants of glue and gel or whatever else this being, you know, that some people use. And that's your preference. Me personally, I like for my frontals to look blended with my natural hair in the front. And I have gotten compliments because of that. Like, it's not just stuck to my head or whatever. And then, too, the way I sweat or because my skin is combination skin and I'm oily up and through here, it's kind of hard for me to keep my stuff glued down like that anyway. And then I know some people prefer that more natural look anyway. So, yeah. Um... But maybe I'll do a tutorial about that so you guys can kind of see my perspective on how I like to wear my wigs, my front lace, or whatever. I like to utilize my combs a lot, too, um, and adjust the bands. Um, different little tricks and tips to kind of keep it secure, um, but also still make it look really, really good. And then sometimes, some days, I just don't give a damn. And I say that... With the utmost, uh, whatever, respect, however you want to call it. Um, okay, camera went out of focus for a minute. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I say that with the utmost, uh, respect, I guess. You know, different strokes for different folks, but yeah, I have to show you guys that. Um, but you know, again... I mean, love the skin you're in. You are all beautiful in your own way. Don't let nobody make you doubt yourself or make you feel any different. Um, you know, this is a big thing for me to come on here like this. Usually I'm like, snatch, beat, you know. But <laughs> I don't look like this every day. I don't look like this when I wake up in the morning, honey. Um, I mean, as far as, with you know, the beat face. Um, so... You just have to come with it raw sometimes and, you know, love the skin that you're in, honey. And I do love the skin that I'm in. I don't do my makeup to try to cover up anything. It's just, you know, I like to be presentable. That's just my zhuzh. That's what I like. Not everybody is into it, but that's just me personally. But love the skin you're in, you guys. Self-love is so important. If you don't love yourself, nobody else will love you, seriously. And if you don't love yourself, you're not good to anyone else. And that is so important for you to understand, babies. Because it took me a long time to get there. And I have some story times planned. You know, everybody has a backstory. Everybody has a reason for them being the way that they are. Um, or the way that they've come. And it doesn't mean that you're stuck in that and how you are with that. It just means that something has had to build you to the point of where you are. It doesn't mean that you're stuck and it doesn't mean that you're not moving forward because I always move forward. You have to keep it pushing and you have to be positive. Um, and even the strongest person gets weak sometimes. I mean, I know I do. I had a very deep conversation with my mother today after church. And it's kind of like, well, after she got, a ch got out of church. But, um, and it's kind of like, wow. She was absolutely right in what she was saying. But it's like, you never know how somebody sees you. And you feel like I'm, like, alone. Nobody understands my struggle. Things like that. And I know everybody feels like that sometimes. But like I said, I have some good story times coming up um, for you babies. And I just hope you stay tuned. I don't know who all is watching. But for my people that are watching, I know my sister watches. I love you. <laughs> I know she watches. <laughs> I'm not sure if my god babies watch. 
Um, some stuff is probably inappropriate for them, but you know, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> but for anybody else who's new, who's looking um, to start watching me, I thank you. Just make sure you comment, subscribe, get that notification bell. I have some good things coming up. I mean, I'm starting off, so you guys, the quality, what I have envisioned in my head is just not manifested yet. It will come. Just stick with me. It will come. But I hope you babies have a good, blessed rest of your week starting off. Um, let's rock this week. Make your goals happen. Love yourself. Do something that is very much self-love for you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Stay tuned for more videos. And I catch you babies later. Just please make sure to stay fabulous. Stay positive. And stay body positive. I got to get my closing down. I knew it by heart and then it just keeps changing. But I love you guys nonetheless. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.